Good evening. Today, we will be covering the post market update dated the 13th of November 2023. The benchmark indices shut shop on November 13th in a negative territory. Sensex was down 325.58 points, or 0.5% at 64,933.87, and the Nifty was down 82.00 points, or 0.42% at 19,443.50. About 16.59 shares advanced, 2043 shares declined, while 132 shares were unchanged. Biggest gainers on the Nifty were Coal India, Mahindra and Mahindra, M&M, JSW Steel, Hindalco, and Ica Motors, while losers were SBI Life Insurance, Bajaj Finance, Infosys, Tech Mahindra, and Isisai Bank. Talking about the corporate segment, we have Shares of BHEL jumped more than 5% on November 13. The stock is seeing recovery from when it fell last week after the company reported dismal Q2 numbers. For the quarter ended September 2023, the state-owned engineering firm reported consolidated net loss of 238.12 rupees crore, as against profit of 12.10 rupees crore in the year-ago period. Despite the disappointing quarterly results, analysts are bullish on Barat Heavy Electricals (BHEL) stock given the healthy pipeline of thermal orders and likely moderation in receivables. The BSE stock jumped more than 10% on November 13 morning after the company delivered stellar September quarter results, with analysts upbeat about the stock. The stock exchange's net profit jumped 303% on year to 120 rupees crore, and revenue rose 46% to 310 rupees crore. Analysts remain positive about the company given its better-than-expected equity cash volumes and increasing treasury income from clearing and settlement funds. The board of directors of BSE approved a fund infusion of Rs 22.36 crore in India International Exchange, IFSC, Limited, India INX, and Rs 33.88 crore in India International Exchange. IFSC, limited towards the purchase of equity shares through subscription of rights issue. Mrs. Bechter's Food Specialities Limited has announced robust financial results with significant strides in premiumization and volume-led sales growth, the company said in an earnings call. The company reported an impressive 15% improvement in sales of premium products, reflecting a growing consumer preference for higher quality offerings. Shares of Hindustan Copper rallied 7% to Rs160 on November 13 after the company's net profit more than doubled in the second quarter of fiscal 2023-24. to The stock of the copper ore producer surged 40% as against a 7% rise in the BSE benchmark. The Hindustan Copper script touched a 52-week high of Rs174 per share on September 4. In quarter two financial year 2024, the company's consolidated income spurted 67% on year to Rs392 crore in quarter two financial year 2024. The company's sales volume increased 49% over the last year in the September quarter. Shares of Coal India Limited gained over 5% after Jefferies India and a host of other brokerages upgraded the stock and raised their target prices on the back of better-than-expected September quarter earnings by the state-run miner. Jefferies India upgraded the stock to buy from hold, and increased the target price by 19% to 385 rupees a share. Crest Ventures Limited in daily time frame is trading around 325.45 points with a change of 18. 0.41% and is trading with a net volume of around 593.156 thousand shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 266.70, which is a good indication for the stock, while shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 83.12. Everest Canto Cylinder Limited in daily time frame is trading around 141.55 points with a change of 14.71% and is trading with a net volume of around 12.385 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 124.25, which is a good indication for the stock. 
while shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 76.95. SMC Global Securities Limited in daily time frame is trading around 101.05 points with a change of 11.9% and is trading with a net volume of around 3.324 million shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 91.60, which is a good indication for the stock. While shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 73.16. For the stock recommendation we have, Ashok Leyland looks good and can be bought at 174, keeping a stop loss of 168 rupees and a target of 180. You can reach us via phone, WhatsApp, or email using the information listed on the screen. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more financial insights. And, as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future videos, leave them in the comments section below. Until next time, happy investing!